My Little Book of Ocean Life. Coral polyps. A coral reef is home to many ocean animals. The reef is built by animals called coral polyps. Coral reefs grow in sunny places where the water is warm and clean. Polyps have soft bodies, but they build stony skeletons around themselves. A polyp grabs animals with its tentacles and pulls them into its mouth to eat them. This type of coral is called a brain coral. There are many types of coral in a reef. Sea anemone. Sea anemones are soft, squishy animals. They live on the seabed in shallow water. The tentacles are covered in stingers. When an animal swims through them, it is stung and then swallowed. Clownfish stay safe by hiding from predators inside an anemone. It does not sting them. Little boxer crabs wave sea anemones at their enemies to scare them. The sea anemone's body is a long tube. At the top is a mouth that is surrounded by tentacles. Sea urchin. Sea urchins are prickly animals. They have sharp spines that stop many animals from eating them. The mouth of the sea urchin is on its bottom. Sea urchins move slowly along rocks, eating small animals and algae. This sea urchin is being attacked by some starfish. This little crab stops other animals from eating it by carrying a sea urchin. The sea urchin's body is round and hard with long spines. Starfish. Most starfish have five arms. They use tiny feet on their arms to crawl along the seabed as they hunt for food. Starfish are also called sea stars. They push their stomachs out of their mouths to capture and eat shellfish. This starfish is growing new arms. These blue starfish are crawling over soft ocean animals called sponges. If a starfish loses an arm, it can regrow a new one. A crown of thorns starfish. Jellyfish. A jellyfish has long stinging tentacles. Some jellyfish are tiny, but others can grow to the height of a crane. This jellyfish has trapped a fish in its tentacles. A mauve stinger has stingers on both its tentacles and in the little red spots on its body. Jellyfish use their stingers to stun or kill fish. They are not strong enough to fight currents, so they must travel where the ocean carries them. This deep sea medusa jellyfish lives in the deep ocean. Sea slug. Sea slugs are snails that live in the ocean. They do not have shells to protect their soft bodies. Sea slugs have a clever way to stay safe. Their bright colors warn animals that they have a deadly poison in their skin. Some sea slugs have stingers, too. This beautiful sea slug is called a blue dragon. As a sea slug crawls along the seabed, it eats small animals, such as sponges and coral polyps. Shellfish. Shellfish live on the seabeds all over the world. They usually live in shallow water and eat other animals. Shellfish are cousins of snails and octopuses. They have a shell and tentacles. They also have a rough tongue that is covered with tiny teeth. A giant clam is over three feet long. A conch 
pokes its head out of its shell. A cone shell can fire a poison dart from a special tube. These shellfish eat fish and worms. Octopus. Octopuses are some of the smartest animals in the ocean. They have big brains and very good eyesight. An octopus has a round body, large eyes, and eight arms. It crawls along the seabed, but it is also a good swimmer. Blue ringed octopus are small but deadly. They have a venomous bite. This is a Pacific giant octopus. It can grow to more than nine feet long. Octopuses grab fish with their suckers on their arms. Peacock mantis shrimp. Peacock mantis shrimps are stunning animals. They are covered in beautiful colors. Peacock mantis shrimps are cousins to crabs and lobsters. They live in warm, shallow water and hunt other animals. Peacock mantis shrimps attack using their powerful front legs, which are strong enough to break glass. This shrimp is hiding in her burrow, where she looks after her little red eggs. Most shrimps are smaller than a little finger, but peacock mantis shrimps can grow up to eight inches long. Crab. Crabs live under the ocean, but they spend time on the seashore too. These ocean animals have a strong shell-like skin. Crabs have five pairs of legs and can run fast across a sandy beach. At the front of the crab's body are claws that can be used to catch other animals. A fiddler crab's eyes are on long stalks. This is a Sally Lightfoot crab. Japanese spider crabs live in the deep ocean. Lobster. Lobster can grow over three feet long. Like crabs, they have a tough outer skin and lots of legs. Lobsters live underwater and are good swimmers. They use their claws to grab and crack open shellfish before eating their soft insides. When spiny lobsters migrate, they march in a long line across the seabed to find colder water. Squat lobsters have crab-like bodies. Mackerel. Mackerel also are silvery fish that live in huge groups. A group of fish is called a school or shoal. Mackerel are fast swimmers that twist and turn to avoid other animals. Seabirds, whales, sharks, and other bony fish all hunt mackerel. This shark is hunting a shoal of fish. Fish that live in big shoals often have silvery scales and dark stripes. Coral fish. Coral fish live around coral reefs where there is plenty of food to eat and many places to hide. Fish has fins and scales. Most coral fish have bold colors and patterns. Trigger fish nibble at animals and plants on the seabed. Lionfish have big mouths and sharp spines. Wrasse fish eat tiny pieces of food inside the mouth of a sweet lips fish. Seahorse. Seahorses are unusual little fish. Their body makes it hard for them to swim. A seahorse mother lays her eggs in a special pouch on the father's tummy. He carries them while they grow into baby seahorses called fry. Seahorses wrap their tails around seaweed so they aren't swept away. This leafy sea dragon is a type of seahorse. It carries eggs on its tail. This seahorse fry is coming out of its dad's pouch, tail first.
ray. Rays are flat fish that can grow to an enormous size. Some manta rays are as big as a car. Rays have long tails and wing-like fins. Their gills are on the underside of their body. Rays are good swimmers, but often rest on the seabed. This ray has blue spots and stripes and a sharp spine at the base of its tail. A manta ray can grow up to 22 feet wide. It swims by flapping its big fins. The pattern on a torpedo ray's skin helps it to hide in the seabed. Shark. Sharks are fierce, powerful fish that hunt other ocean animals. There are about 500 types of shark. Most sharks use their amazing sense of smell to find animals to eat. Great white sharks can leap out of the water. The great white shark has rows of sharp teeth in its mouth. This shark is called a hammerhead shark. A marine iguana. Most lizards live on land, but these big lizards dive into the ocean too. Marine iguanas dive underwater so they can nibble on seaweeds. When they are not eating, marine iguanas sunbathe on the rocks. Marine iguanas are large lizards. They can grow up to three feet long. Marine iguanas can hold their breath underwater for up to one hour. Sea snake. Most snakes slither on the ground, but sea snakes are super swimmers. Banded sea crates have a paddle-shaped tail that help them swim. They hunt fish, especially eels. This is a yellow-lipped sea crate. Sea crates have sharp fangs and a deadly bite. This sea snake has slithered onto land to lay its eggs. Turtle! Turtles go on amazing journeys across the ocean. They travel far to find food and to lay their eggs. Loggerhead turtles have a large head and strong jaws. They live in the sea, but they breathe air. After hatching from their eggs, baby turtles walk to the ocean. Loggerhead turtles are large reptiles that grow up to three feet long. Turtles can crush shellfish, crabs, and lobsters in their beak-like mouths. Saltwater crocodile. Saltwater crocodiles are the largest crocodiles in the world. They are sometimes called salties. Salties can grow about 22 feet long. They live near the seashore in swamps or where rivers meet the sea. Crocodiles breathe air. This crocodile will soon swim to the surface to breathe. A crocodile's snout is long and thin. It contains about 66 sharp teeth. Crocodiles hunt at night and eat birds and fish. Young crocodiles push their tails into the water to leap up into the air. Penguin. Penguins are ocean birds and great swimmers. They have black and white feathers. Macaroni penguins live near the South Pole where the water is very cold. Like all penguins, they hunt for fish in the ocean and lay their eggs on land. Baby penguins are small and very fluffy. Macaroni penguins have a crest of golden feathers. Penguins swim far and deep to find food. Albatross. Albatrosses are huge ocean birds. They spend most of their lives soaring above the ocean. Albatrosses are some of the largest flying birds in the world. 
They dive into the water and catch fish with their long beaks. Albatross parents build a nest on land and look after their chick together. An albatross's wingspan can measure more than nine feet. It can take years for an albatross to find its perfect mate. Sea otters. Sea otters have thick fur to keep them warm in cold water. They spend most of their time in the ocean. Most otters live in rivers, but sea otters live in the Pacific Ocean. They even give birth in the water and look after their cubs there. Sea otters sometimes float in a group called a raft and even hold hands. Sea otters wrap themselves in seaweed so they don't float away. Sea otters eat shellfish. They bash the shells with rocks to reach the soft animals inside. Seal. Seals are strong swimmers. They use their flippers and tails to speed through the ocean as they hunt for fish. These mammals have a thick layer of fat to keep them warm. Young seals are called pups and they feed on their mother's milk. A seal uses its flippers to change direction. A seal's thick fur keeps it warm even in the icy winter. Walrus. Walruses are large, heavy animals that live in the cold Arctic Ocean. Walruses have wrinkly, pinkish brown skin, tusks, and flippers. They use their sensitive whiskers to find shellfish on the seabed. A walrus's tusks are long teeth that can grow up to three feet long. Walruses gather in colonies to rest on land. Walruses use their tusks to heave themselves up onto slippery ice. Dolphin. Dolphins are small whales with long stouts that are called beaks. They are smart, friendly animals. Dolphins dive deep to find fish and squid to eat. They live in family groups called pods. There may be hundreds of dolphins in one pod. Dolphins have long, slender bodies that are per the perfect shape for swimming fast in the world's oceans. Dolphins like to leap through the air as they travel. This is called porpoising. Dolphins swim to the ocean surface when they need to breathe. Sperm whale. Sperm whales are the world's largest hunters. They eat octopuses, fish, and squid. A sperm whale has the biggest brain of any animal that has ever lived. It dives into deep, cold water to find food. Although sperm whales breathe air, they can stay underwater for up to two hours at a time. Sperm whales are about 50 feet long. They can weigh as much as 10 elephants. Blue whales. This is the largest animal that has ever lived on Earth. A blue whale's tongue is the size of an elephant. Blue whales may be huge, but they eat tiny ocean animals called krill. They open their mouths to suck in water. Then they gulp down all the krill in that mouthful of water. A baby blue whale is called a calf and it feeds on its mother's milk. Blue whales live near the surface of the ocean. Whales breathe using a blowhole. When the blue whale breathes out, the spray can shoot 30 feet into the air. Here is the glossary of all the words we learned. 
Here is the index to look up ideas that we want to learn more about. And here are the picture credits for all the amazing photographs in this book.